Good evening, South Mississippi. Meteorologist Chase Menendez here. We do have some rain chances in the forecast for tomorrow morning, and parts of it may be severe. Overnight, we're going to see some increasing cloud cover resulting in those rain chances by about 6 a.m. tomorrow. Temperatures about 62 degrees expected to remain there overnight because a warm front is actually responsible for these rain chances that we're going to see tomorrow. Temperatures right now 61 across most of the entire Gulf Coast region with dew points again 61 degrees. Now that means we have lots of moisture to work with and on the WLX 24-7 radar lots of cloud cover indicating lots of moisture and we can see that in the dew points we can see that offshore with a lot of rain heading our way into the Mississippi Gulf Coast. As we move to the west we can see a line of pretty severe storms coming off of Mexico into parts of southeastern Texas um, but for our rain chances we do see this low pressure system and this warm front that I was telling you about responsible for most of the rain that we're going to be seeing. Now as it tracks to the west we're going to see some the potential for some severe weather. Between about 5:30 and 11 a.m. is really when we're going to see the highest chance for this severe weather. Now it is only a slight risk with some damaging winds possible and perhaps an isolated tornado or two uh, but most of that is going to be over Atlanta and Georgia rather than our own Mississippi Gulf Coast region. Now this is something, it's just thunderstorms really. It's going to be some pretty serious thunderstorms, but aside from thunderstorms, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's nothing we don't know how to handle, just something to watch and be aware of. Right now, 64 degrees in, in Gulfport, 58 degrees in Memphis, and off to the west, there's a large cool air mass about to head our way, but it's nothing compared to the couple of air masses that we've seen before. As it tracks south and to the east, we're going to see temperatures drop off by about Tuesday early on the week next week. And then just in time for Thanksgiving, we're going to see this low pressure system and another warm front pop up and start tracking east to Mississippi as well. Great time to throw the football after watching the Macy's Day Parade. I know I will. IP Casino Resort and Spa Tower Cam showing a lot of cloud cover. Same thing on the Golden Nugget Tower Cam in Biloxi. And on the future cast, you can see a lot of that cloud cover is being picked up. Um, this rain system moving over here towards the border of Louisiana and Mississippi starting to move east by about Sunday morning at 6 a.m. is really when you're going to see some isolated chances for isolated storms. And as the day goes on by about 9 a.m. we're going to see this band mostly move out and into the day on 10, by 10 o'clock most of the rain will stop and through the afternoon is when things are going to really start clearing out. By Sunday about 7 p.m we're going to see pretty clear skies. As far as total expected, we're going to see anywhere from about half an inch in Biloxi to about an inch, uh, a little bit more on the interior. Now realistically, I think anything from about half an inch to an inch is likely. Currently right now, we're sitting at 62 degrees in Biloxi and 62 in Gulfport as tonight's low. Uh, not going to change too much from what the temperatures are right now, especially on the interior, 59 degrees. Again, due to that warm front and due to those clouds coming in. Tomorrow's highs, about 74 in Biloxi and Gulfport, a little warmer, 76 in Wiggins and 75 in Poplarville, uh, because once that rain moves out, we're going to see lots of sun. Seas about 3 to 5 feet in the sound, 5 to 8 feet offshore. And here's a look at your seven day.